In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how you can do in and out animation for video clips, graphic images, and PIP objects by using transitions, but not using it on the main timeline. This is a new feature for owners of PowerDirector 365. We'd like to show you a short example and as you look at the transitions in the example, you're going to see none of them were used by going to the transition room, but the in and out animation was done using this new technique. So please look at the example and then we'll show you how we did this. A footnote, we briefly had this tutorial up before, but we used stock images that contained images of children, and for some reason YouTube would not allow comments on it, even though it was licensed. So uh, we're redoing this again. If you feels like you've seen this before, that's the reason for the revision. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take our video clip and put it on track number one. And let's assume we'd like to make an in and out animation by using a transition in the traditional way in PowerDirector. Normally what I do is I'd go to my transition room. I'll click on that. Here I have 358 transitions. So I can take any one I choose. Let's take a slide and drop it down and put it right on the video track. I'll shorten it by using my mouse. And then we can have this in and out animation done by a transition. We'll play it now. And there we go. We have a slide up. Very simple. But let's do it using the new technique available if I'm a subscriber for PowerDirector 365. What I need to do in this case is simply double click on my clip. That takes me into my PIP designer. Now I'm going to go into my animation tab and go to the in animation. And when I click that, I have 72 options that I can pick from that are different from before. Let's take a simple expanding line. And now I can take that and double click on that. And that becomes my in animation. If I want to change the duration of it, I use my mouse. And that is the darker blue green area on the left side. And I can drag and shorten it looking at the time code below the preview to get the duration of my in animation. Likewise, I can use the same tool for out animation. I can click there and let's take a brush transition, double click on that. That will be my out animation. And likewise, I can control the duration with a mouse on the timeline when controlling the blue green area at the bottom. So I've done that one. And now I don't see any transitions in my main screen, but they are embedded in this video clip. We can also use this not simply on video clips. I can use it on a graphic image. I have one here called Price Break. I'll drag that to track number two. And we'll make it somewhat smaller so it doesn't totally dominate the screen. And again, I can use the same technique. I double click on the graphic image in the timeline. And that will take me to my PIP Designer again. And I can click on the Animation tab and choose an in animation of my choice. I'll take a sliding transition here and click on OK. And now my price break will also follow the same kind of rules. I'm, I'm using a transition and let me move it in farther so we don't have them on top of each other so much. And we'll play this. And there my, there's my price break. We can also use it not only with these two elements, but also with a PIP object. So I'm going to go to my PIP object or video overlay room. I've set it up so that I just see one of them, this clock. We'll take a clock and drag it down to track three and I'll resize it just a bit. And let's add a transition to that as well. So I double click on the PIP object, go to my animation tab 
And in the animation tab, I'm going to use an in animation. I know I have one called wipe clock. Double click on that. And there we go. I'll make that very fast. We'll shorten it up and click on OK. And now I've used the same procedure on three different kinds of objects in my project. So if you want to use this new way of applying a transition as an in or out effect, either on a graphic image or on a video clip or on a pip object, you can do that now in CyberLink PowerDirector.